Hey guys, what up? Welcome back. This is the I Destiny, and this is the LA Lifestyle on a Budget, giving you skincare and thriftwear and a little bit of entertainment industry tips. So if that's what you're into, hit the subscribe button below. Now, I had previously done a video, I think this was last week, talking about kind of like my daytime quarantine skincare routine, just kind of me going through my normal skincare routine that I would do during the day, but just adding in a few more steps for just kind of like that little little extra kiss of self-care. But today I wanted to do, well I mean tonight as you guys can tell it's probably like a lot darker in here than it normally is my video. But this evening in particular I wanted to do, you know, my quarantine extended self-care routine um, for nighttime for my skin. Don't feel like you have to have exactly the same stuff that I have. I try to choose more budget savvy um, items, you know, things like Pacifica, things like Pixie, things that are easy for you to either get shipped to you from Target or Amazon or, well, I don't know if it's Amazon, but uh, Target and Walmart and things like that. So, um, also feel free to just use whatever you have at home if you have extra sheet masks. I literally grabbed, like, just stuff that I had in my skincare stash that I haven't used um, in a while. If I had, like, multiples of masks or multiples of a certain product, I'm just literally using whatever. I have some of my tried and true favorite uh, skincare items in this video as well as like some things that I just kind of had in my stash that I want to just kind of get rid of. So let me go ahead and start with, now I've already washed my face. I used my Derma E Purifying Gel Cleanser. I love this. This is one of my tried and trues that I've been using for years. If you've been watching my channel, you already know that. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the Pacifica Cosmic Vanish Strips. So I used these, I uh, actually did a review on these and it was kind of like a nighttime get unready with me type video. These worked okay, but I just kind of wanna use them. I've been noticing, you know, I'm, my pores are getting a little bit more clogged in my nose area. And I feel like for nighttime, one of the main things you wanna do is obviously moisturize because while you sleep, your body depletes itself of moisture. Um, but I really wanna get rid of that kind of gunk in my pores, um, kind of like in my T-zone area before I do my sheet mask and that whole ordeal. So let's start off with one of these. If you guys don't have these, I actually did a DIY that uses like toilet paper and egg whites. So if you're interested in that, I'll try to find that video. I did it like years back and I'll try to um, link below for you guys to check out. It's little pink strips. If you guys want to see an extended review, again, I'll try to link all these videos down below because most of these items that I'm going to use today are, you know, products that I've used. So, um, and reviewed on this channel. So I just need a little bit of water. Yeah, I'm literally using just a cap to my water because I don't feel like getting up and doing all that extra. So I think I'm just going to do it on my nose area and my chin. So these pore strips you can use for your forehead, nose, and chin area. I feel like those are kind of like the main areas that you kind of have problems with. I can literally feel like I'm getting an acne bump, a little pimple kind of growing in on my nose area so definitely want to stay on top of my skincare for that but I mean what are you guys doing for quarantine right now I feel like during this time I, I mean for us in LA we've been on quarantine for a minute just because our mayor was like we shut that mess down from the jump so um, I've kind of had my time to kind of relax chill veg out really do nothing but I feel like now oops, stick it in my finger okay let me put this on I'm looking at my monitor so if you guys are like, what is she doing? Oh, okay, I actually did this right. I totally forgot that this packet has like, I think two of each, like two forehead strips, two particular nose strips and two chin strips. So I managed to grab the right one, thank God. But uh, this one's chin. But I feel like I really had time to kind of veg out a bit and just kind of reflect and just, you know, just have that downtime. Um, I feel like a lot of people now that more places, more states, more countries, whatever, are starting to do like the whole quarantine thing. People are starting to realize like, oh, okay, you know, maybe I should take, you know, a few days or a couple weeks or whatever to just kind of relax and chill and um, de-stress before you jump into like starting to be all, you know, extra productive and stuff like that. So I feel like as of right now, I'm really yearning to be productive. Like I'm working with clients online now and trying to help them set up their stuff. Things like YouTube, things like social media and, you know, that kind of crap as opposed to actually going out and doing, you know, physical gigs where I'm modeling or doing videography or, you know, doing event junk. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure if I had to put on liquid over this. I couldn't remember. Um, but I feel like this, like, 
I don't know, as of right now, as of, you know, me wanting to be more creative and more productive, like I'm doing stuff online for clients, but as well as like, I wanna develop myself. So I'm like starting to read books. I'm doing a makeup class, which I'm so freaking excited about because I mean, I can do like some very, very basic things, but you guys know, like for me, like my tried and true is focusing on my skin. So that being said, like I've always wanted to kind of level up my skills just because of the fact that it's like when you're on set or when you get booked for stuff, a lot of times, you know, if it's like more of a lower end budget thing or even if it's like, a, you know, they have a decent budget, they want you to come with like, oh, you know, your foundation already done or, you know, can you do the majority of your makeup and then we'll have, you know, the makeup artist do lashes on you or, you know, do a few extra things like maybe some winged liner and some, you know, extras if they have like a lot of people on set that need like makeup done. And so for me, I feel like that's always been kind of a weakness for me that I really haven't fully, I don't know, like fully jumped into yet, which is crazy because it's like, you know, obviously I do YouTube and I do, you know, I've done music videos and I've done, you know, modeling and things like that. And it just makes sense that I would really take the time to learn that, but I did not. And now I, I feel some sort of way because I don't know if you guys have been keeping up on TikTok and um, Facebook and everything, but the don't don't rush challenge i don't know if y'all have seen those videos Ooh, this thing's starting to come off of me let me chill we're gonna leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes by the way um so the don't rush challenge like these women are doing such like crazy transformations as far as like makeup and it's like you know women of color like really working it out and killing it and now it's like branched out into like all these other like subcultures and stuff and it's just dope like if you guys are uh, have done the don't rush challenge or if you guys know of an amazing one that maybe i haven't seen if you have me on twitter you guys know i've been like retweeting them like crazy when they come up and on my facebook as well but if you have done it dm me on instagram like i would love to see your guys's don't rush challenges and just like hype you up because i am so for like women positivity women killing it and i'm just like oh i want to do makeup like i want to beat my full fit i've been watching jackie Iron a few years i've learned a few basic things but i mostly just watch her just just for her just for her videos but um i have learned some things but i just really want to be more intentional about that skill just because it aligns with me being in the entertainment industry and me learning more about my craft so that would make sense <laughs> if there's a certain skill that you guys are learning you know comment below let me know like what are you uh, learning I know that a lot of people are doing like online dance classes like Zumba and Pilates and yoga I know there's so many like I think it's mind body is that the name of the app where you could do like different classes and things like that but I think the first don't rush challenge one that I saw was like it was a bunch of like Nigerian um, I think they were like youtubers slash influencers um, I don't know if they all have a YouTube channel or if they just, you know, influence on some platform or another, but a lot of them, their videos and transformations were just freaking dope. And I actually went and subscribed to some of them and was like, you know, what? I really want to check out their content and see what they have going on. It's the quiet star. Okay, time to take these off. Let me see. Oh, I always hate this part. I always hate this part. Okay. Ow. Ooh. Okay. I'm seeing some stuff on there. It did all right. <laughs> all right, so next step, I'm gonna jump in and use my Pixie Glow Glycolic Boost Mask. I also reviewed this one as well. If you guys are interested in seeing that, I'm gonna link it up here for you guys to check out. But I had one more of these left. I think it came in a pack of three. So I really wanted to use my, um, I had an extra TJ mask somewhere, Trader Joe's. Their sheet mask is bomb and it's only like two bucks. So if you guys are not hip to that, you need to check that out once obviously the stores reopen or for those of you that live in your Trader Joe's when you go grocery shopping, just grab one on your way up to the line. Oh, I hate when they fold sheet masks up into quarters. It just makes it like 10 times more difficult to undo and use, but I'm really hoping that this video turns out not too, too quiet just because of the fact that I'm trying to film at night while everybody else is kind of like sleeping or on their way to bed. So I'm trying not to be too, too loud, but um, it's kind of nice filming at night when I know like there's not going to be a lot of traffic. So let me see. Here we go. Got the sheet mask on, got the candles going. Rubbing the extra serum down, putting that on my hands. And I'll also be doing a video on how to keep your hands moisturized this quarantine uh, COVID-19 season just because we're washing our hands so damn much. My hands uh, literally at one point started to feel raw. My knuckles started to feel like rough, which they, I mean, they've never, they've never been rough. Like I've never had rough knuckles. <laughs> 
when I did gymnastics back in the day when I was on the playground and had calluses this part of my hand was rough but the back of my hand was never crusty and dusty the way that it looks now so check out for that video it'll probably um, be uploaded after this one um, on the channel so this one we're gonna leave on for 10 to 15 minutes get my little jade roller set this one's by the witty company I actually collaborated with them on a video um, where I talked about this one I absolutely love it it's really inexpensive but really quality because I feel like on sites like Amazon and different things like that you can really jump on there and find a gazillion uh, jade rollers a gazillion uh, gouaches on there and um, they range you can get them for like nine bucks twelve bucks fifteen bucks twenty on up to like fifty sixty um, some brands even have them in the hundreds best believe if it's you know marble or jade or you know some higher quality of the stone um, but I really really like theirs. Theirs are pretty more on like on the budget side like in that $15 range approximately But it's just it's really cute the little box that comes in uh, So if you guys are interested in checking that video out, I'm gonna link it above here So what are you guys watching on Netflix in the Hulu? Um, I've been doing voodoo lately just because I had subscriptions to any and everything and um, I was like this is just getting really expensive and I just I found myself super busy not able to watch all the different shows and stuff that I wanted to watch and I was like okay I don't need Hulu and Netflix and Amazon Prime and as well as like Voodoo and all the other like free ones that you can check out that have like videos and stuff on it um, so I just I cancel all of those and I mean well the only ones that I have now are Disney Plus just because my daughter you know she needs something to watch every now and then and then uh, Voodoo so what are you guys watching on your particular platform something that you love and please don't mention that tiger guy or whatever um, Everybody's been talking about that on Facebook. I already know. I've seen the memes. I feel like at this point in time, I pretty much saw it just because everybody's talking about it. So what have you seen? And if, if you've seen that, no shame in your game. It's totally fine. I know that there's a lot of people that love that. Is it like a mini series or documentary um, or reality TV? I'm not really sure on that end, but I feel like I know enough of it to really kind of figure out what the heck's going on. So if you love that, comment below and just say, hey, you know, I love it for X, Y, Z. But other than that, I don't think I'm going to be checking that out anytime soon. But if there's something else that you love, comment below. I'd love to check it out. I just saw um, a dancer in the dark for the first time last night. And I was just like, oh, oh. I mean, for those of you that know, like, how Bjork is, like, my favorite. I was like, I don't know how I, like, how I haven't seen this movie before. Um, but I'm going to sit for another, like, ten minutes or so and I'll be right back. So I'm literally sitting here watching, um... TikTok videos and um, it's crazy on there. Oh. Mm. Face is feeling buttery smooth. Well, why my face has all this amazing slip? Let me go ahead with my guasha stone, and I'm just gonna fast forward through this because it's it's quite an intensive process um, if you guys want to see my full video actually I think I sped through that one too anyways um, the technique that I'm using I'll link her video below and she's the one who created her own gua sha she's been doing skincare for forever and so I actually do her technique when I use my um, use when I use my gua sha stone so quick pause real quick I'm noticing that my face is starting to dry down, so I'm gonna jump in with my uh, cosmetic prescription, uh, Snail Power Mucins, or the Snail 96 Power, Mucin Power Essence, super, super long name. If you guys have not tried this, it's actually a really, really great product. Is this a K-Beauty or a Japanese skincare? Either way, it's a really great budget um, Asian skincare item. If you guys are interested, um, in this product or in this brand I'll go ahead and link below because um, I just linked up with uh, yes style so they have amazing discounts on k-beauty products on Japanese skincare products as well as kind of like anime stuff and clothes and all that kind of and all that jazz so um, so I'm, if you guys want to see an unboxing for that where um, I just kind of go through my process of buying stuff from them and um, what everything looks like when it arrives as well as you know the products themselves doing the full review let me know and I'll for sure jump on here and, and do that because I'm really excited my shipment won't be here for like another month so hopefully we're not in quarantine by then but if we are I'm totally gonna give you guys a review but let me jump in and do this before the um, essence dries down
feel so like, I don't know, I just feel like the blood is like rushing through. It really helps with your circulation. It really helps you to be able to detox your face. So if you've never heard of this, I mean, I have a jade roller as well, but it totally doesn't work as good as this. This is like throwback, super, super old school. I'll link that video above where I talk about this. And then I just love just kind of going over my lower eye area with this. You can also put this in the fridge or freezer and then just kind of rub it under your eyes when they're kind of puffy or rub it along your jawline. If you notice, you have puffiness in the morning. So I love the gua sha for nighttime and then this for when you first wake up. You just, you know, let's say you have to go somewhere or let's say you have to be on set for a shoot at 7 a.m. and your skin looks all puffy and blotchy and whatnot. This is kind of like what I go for and grab. This is kind of to get the circulation going to my face, give my face that little extra facelift. See how my face looks a little bit more snatched? So next I want to go in with my Andalou Naturals. This is the Probiotic C Renewal Cream. I use this day, um, sometimes day and night depending on what I'm doing, but for the most part this is kind of like my, my night cream. This, dab that on. What night cream are you guys using? Have you noticed that, you know, throughout time, or throughout your life you've gradually been reaching towards more like moisturizing items more moisturizing um like more of, um moisturizers that are more like rich and you know thick and creamy or are you noticing that you're going towards more like almost water-based but still hydrating like type formulas next i'm going to go in with my simplified skin eye cream i uh, love this stuff got this on amazon it's a really kind of small mom and pop type um skincare company but their stuff is natural and I just love that it just kind of gives my skin uh, also love using this kind of not necessarily as a lip mask but like underneath my chapstick as well when I um, before I go to bed at night and interestingly enough um, so I watch um, Vogue's YouTube channel and you know how they always have those um, videos with celebrities on like their skincare routine or their kind of get ready with me routines. I noticed also that uh, Doja Cat does that as well, which I was like, hmm, that's cool. But I feel like eye cream is great for the lips because it kind of gives your lips that first bit of hydration before you put your chapstick on. Cause you know sometimes when you get a cheap chapstick and it's just, it's super, super thick and you feel like your, your lips underneath are kind of more suffocated, they're not moisturized. So I love going in with a very light, kind of eye cream first and then putting on my chapstick after that. So I'm gonna go in with my Kanuki Lip Balm. This homegirl just came all the way out the shell. Okay, hold on. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for just hanging out with me. I know this was a little bit of a longer video just because we have the time. It's quarantine season. Why not? Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you want to see more. I'll be posting more as usual. Make sure to do well and be well and I'll see you later. Bye.